Right then, James has been absolutely incredible this season for uh, Chelsea. James has on that right hand side. Incredible. Oh, straight to Werner. Mistake. Nice goal. Mistake, Robinson. Averts. Think we can do. Oh, look at that. Love it. Straight to Ziyech. Nice. Oh, Thunderbolt. What a Thunderbolt strike from Ziyech. Right then, Werner all by himself. He's got the pace. He should be able to easily get past a couple of these defenders. Oh, nice pass to ZH. Nice goal as well. Nice bit of vision from Werner. Reiner. Little bit of passing there. Nice, Haaland. Get past them, Haaland. You've got the strength and the ability. And Kors is going to score. Long throw in. Mm, not quite long, but I'm sure it will do the job. Guerrero, Bellingham straight into Reiner. Nice on the volley as well. Lovely. Right, then Ribeiro for Nottingham Forest. Over the top, straight to Mighton. <sighs> Bad defending, but well done. Free kick, Freeman on the head of Figueiredo. Nice. Ribeiro again. Another long throw in. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh dear, grabbing on the end of it as well. West Brom now. Nah. What we're going to do with it on the right hand side. Straight to Maitland Niles. Great player as well. Oh, nice. Nice. Lovely bit of passing and uh, movement. Long throw in. Maitland Niles straight into the box. Header on Livermore. Bad goalkeeper from Fabianski. Right then, it's Dawson for their team. We're going to nick it. No, they passed it straight to Fabianski. Straight to our player, Pereira. Oh, dear. Nice pass to Diang. That's meant to be Diang Garner, but nice goal. Nice goal. Welcome back then everybody, this is Tucker Jobs Tactics Testing and uh, yeah, the highlights that you've just saw belonged to the York Kelowna 27-02, it's the new York Kelowna ready for the new update, um, obviously that came out a few days ago and everyone's been asking for it on my Discord so here it is, hopefully it will work absolutely fantastic for you, the creator was obviously eager to get this out as quick as possible so uh, you lot can enjoy the lovely football that this tactic um, producers basically York Alona you can guess in the title it was a originally a York save where he created attacked it where they played like Barcelona uh, obviously it's all, all on short nice little sexy passing no. <laughs> so uh, yeah the teams that are obviously in the test Chelsea West Brom PSG FC Mets Dortmund Frankfurt, Nottingham Forest, and MK Dons. A little bit of variety of top, small, and middle teams all there. So let's get on with the player instructions because if you can't download it, and the download will be in my Discord, this, the Discord link will be in the description. You click it, you go to Upload Tactics section, and there should be a pin at the top of the page where this tactic should be uh, inserted into uh, for, your, for your downloads at your pleasure. Basically. Um, so yeah, if you can't download, I'll go through all the player instructions now. Nah, advance forward. Inside forward left. Inside forward right. Advanced playmaker. Mark specific position, which is the defensive midfielder. And then Mozilla. Deep line playmaker. Wing back left. Wing back right. Ball playing defender left. Ball playing defender right. And the goalkeeper. A uh, sweeper keeper, should I say. Uh, corners. Defending right and left and attacking left and right with the taker aiming for the near post. Free kick instructions, defending right and left and attacking left and right and that'll be mixed. Small chance of shot, right and left and that's aiming for the best header. Indirect wide, left and right and once again heading for the best header. And then deep right and left aiming for the best header. Um, and then finally the throwing instructions, defending right and left. And attacking left and right, and as you can see, it's the uh, long throw in there. So back to the tactic. We've done the uh, instructions. We've done the set pieces. The tactical instructions is a positive mentality in possession. Wide attack and width with passing space. Underlapping on the left and right with play out defence. Shorter passing, extremely high tempo. So fast passing football like Barcelona. Uh, low crosses in the final third with work ball into box, run at defence and be more expressive. In transition, counter press and counter, and your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute to the fullbacks and throw it long. Out of possession, you're looking at using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement, a higher defensive line, force opposition outside on the defensive width. Use tied to marking, extremely urgent press intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction. 
is on. <laughs> so yeah, that is the tactic. Hopefully it works absolutely incredible. When it comes to picking a team, just pick without restriction best 11. It will give you a rough idea on what to have. And once again, like all the other videos, it's just down to preferences. Then you might uh, prefer, obviously, Tam Tammy Abraham to Werner up front. It's all up to you, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, let's get on with the test, and I'll see you at the end of the season. Right then, so let's start in the Premier League. And as you can see, Chelsea finished third. Now, that's not too bad. At the end of the day, Chelsea are predicted fourth position. Uh, so it's an improvement. And the teams that are above are Manchester United and Liverpool. That this season... Manchester United have done very well with the players that they've got. I've done a lot of testing with Man U and yeah, they're, they're a good team. And then Liverpool, it's Liverpool. So yeah, then West Brom, seventh place. West Brom are predicted bottom of the table, 19th position. And they've qualified for European football next season, finished in seventh position with an actual uh, plus as well on the goal difference, which is absolutely incredible, especially for the Premier League, because the Premier League is one of the hardest leagues in the world, it's because a lot of teams are able to beat everyone. It's not a one-sided league like a few of the others out there. And um, yeah, to do well with West Brom, especially with all the teams that are in there. And at the end of the day, look who's actually below you. Leicester, Wolves, Villa, Everton. All right, these, these teams are technically a lot better than West Brom. So you can't moan. Can't moan at that. Um, so let's get on then with Chelsea's competitions. Uh, first, top three. So as you can see, there's no players in the top three for goals. Average ratings. Uh, assists was actually Pereira for uh, West Brom, weirdly. 16 assists for him. And that's it. So it's a shame that we're not in any of the top threes for the two teams because they've got some quality players. Um, but uh, regardless, you know if you've downloaded this tactic before, there's been a massive um, positive the feedback from it on, on the Discord and everyone loves the way it plays and everyone's enjoying it. So it's one of those tactics that does better playing it than it does for the assistant. One of them balmy moments where it's, uh, it, it, yeah, you know what I mean. When you play it, it's better than when you test it because the assistant manages artificial intelligence. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's get on with Chelsea's competitions. Um, so, the English FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. So, they won them two competitions. So, nice. They got the double. They got a bit of silverware. They didn't win the league or the Champions Cup. They are knocked out by Juventus in the European Champions Cup. But they still managed to get the FA Cup. And they beat Liverpool 4-1. Nice result there. Carabao Cup. Uh, they beat Tottenham there on penalties. Final there. So, uh, nice. Bit of silverware for Chelsea. It's nice for them to get some after a few years obviously so nice one Chelsea let's go to the uh, schedule then some results against head-to-heads first West Brom 2-1 uh, uh, first time Chelsea won and the second time they played West Brom down here look 3-2 to Chelsea so Chelsea won both games uh, other results let's have a look so they had a brilliant uh, April uh, unbeaten in April some decent results as well obviously uh, beat Man City 2-1 uh, Tottenham, obviously they won the cup there. Liverpool, 4-1 in the FA Cup final. Final game was against Liverpool, unfortunately lost it there. 5-1 against Leeds. 5-2 uh, Everton, so yeah. Nice results. Brilliant. Uh, actually, it's a very good start. Look at that. Look at that for the start of the season. Can't moan at that at all. Literally, you, you lost one game all the way until nearly the middle of January only lost one game that doesn't say half decent I don't know what will I don't know what will um, squad then average rating a lot of players playing well alright and also a lot of players on loan so <laughs> oh sh Chelsea 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 uh, best player weirdly was actually Kurt Zuma 14 goals and 2 assists 14 goals for the centre back now that is some set piece domination right there. Uh, biggest goal scorers: uh, Timo Werner, Zuma, Abraham, Ziyech, uh, Adoy, Mount, and Havertz all getting double digits. Look how many people are getting double digits on the goals. Awesome there. Assists again, quite a lot getting over ten uh, when it comes to creating goal with Havertz and Mount getting the most with fifteen and fourteen. Uh, team report on a whole. Doing pretty good, all right. Goals per game is a little bit lower than some tests, but it's it's one of those tactics that are not. It's not game breaking. It doesn't go against any match engine. It doesn't. It's just a guy who created a tactic for his York team to play like Barcelona, and it's weirdly worked well, right? And he worked. He's worked hard on it. 
and so yeah it's a it's a visual pretty passing kind of tactic and people that have downloaded it already know it's fantastic and they're all looking forward to this so uh, good luck to that hopefully it at lives up to expectation um but shots per game is massive all right conceding per game bigger than the averages 86 percent top end of the averages for pass completion as well uh so let's go to scoring attacking efficiency unfortunately aggressive and wasteful now is i don't think that's the tactic i think that just might be the players we all know our team Werner plays this season don't we yeah he's a uh, aggressive and wasteful uh, so <laughs> conceding uh, we are quiet and leaky and then if we go to the full numbers, 138 goals with 63 conceded. So quite a bit conceded, really. Uh, but in the league, it was 81 scored, which was the third best, and 46 conceded, which was the fifth best there. So the underdogs of the league, West Brom, seventh place position. Yeah, nice one. Nice one, West Brom. There's nothing really you can say about that. If West, if West Brom was told, would you take that? They'll be like, yeah. We would love that position in the first season in the Premier League. So a nice one there to West Brom. Uh, competitions, obviously, they know that they didn't win anything because Chelsea did. But they got all the way to the semi-final. The FA Cup got knocked out by Liverpool. And unfortunately, Leighton Orient knocked them out in the Carabao Cup. Uh, schedules then. Let's have a look because they finished in a decent position. So they should have got some decent results against some big teams. 3-1 against Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Newcastle 4 0, Villa. Uh, you lost against Liverpool in the final. Southampton Wolves 4 2 3 1. Then bigger teams 2 1 against Everton. And then if we have a look up here to Arsenal, no, unfortunately, Manchester United 2 1. Champions of the league and you beat them 2 1. 4 1 against Man City. Big results. Big results for West Brom. Let's have a look at their squad. So, as usual, the underdogs don't tend to get the bigger average ratings compared to the bigger teams. Uh, but that's still fairly decent, with your best player being Robson Carnot. And, mm, yeah, actually, and came on four times. Best place was Iyaji. Ajayi. Ajayi. Doing it again, hasn't it? Doing it again. Player names. Can't it just be Smith? Cooper. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, four goals, one assist, but your biggest goal scorers being Grant and Dean Garner, 24 and 14. Biggest uh, creators in your team, Pereira and Snodgrass, getting 17 and 13 there. A team report on a whole, not too bad. It's expected that you are going to get a little bit lower on the averages when it comes to getting the goal, uh, conceding goals because no matter how good your defence, uh, the tactic is, your defensive quality is not up to par when it's in the Premier League against some of the bigger teams against most teams really All right you are the underdog um but still half decent when it comes to goals per game and shots because you're above the averages and let's have a look at the stats so 86 goals scored with 70 conceded at the end of the day you didn't concede more than you scored and um, unfortunately this tactic does sometimes require certain players being decent in the positions that they are and we all know that the biggest advice is the fact that your players should be able to pass pass vision movement everything like that because this tactic requires you to be able to do that and unfortunately sometimes it can let you down and you can lose possession if your players can't do that um so yeah make sure you've got the uh, right players and hopefully train them as well you've got to train them all in the right positions um, and i'm hoping that mike will set up a training schedule um, and join it obviously onto this tactic that you can find in the discord so don't worry about that uh, so let's go to the league was a uh, 72 goal scored which was the fifth best and 68 conceded which was the 10th worst so okay let's go to psg and fc mets in league one nice all right psg are always expected to win the league they are the best team or one of the best teams in the world and when you put best team in the world in the french league yeah you tend to uh, get a little bit overpowering there so FC Mets, can't moan at that. Once again, they are the underdogs. They are predicted 15th, which is near the bottom of the table. Not quite relegation, but still 11, 11 places? No, 9 places. 9 places below where they actually finished. Uh, so well done to FC Mets. Awesome job there. Top 3 rankings, and we've got Cardi for PSG, scoring 30 goals, coming first. And Niani uh, getting 26 goals for FC Mets and an average rating it all came down to Neymar then. Neymar came first. Assists, Neymar came first. Player of the matches, 
Neymar came first. He's a he's a class player. I'm hoping this tactic would have actually highlighted that if he played on the inside forward left, which I predict he would have. If we have a quick look, tactics, yeah, attacking left. So I knew he would uh, actually play there. Um, so let's get on then to um, PSG's competitions. European Champions Cup that went down in the quarterfinals against Real Madrid. French Cup semi-final. FC Metz. FC Metz knocked them out in the semi-final. Awesome. 2-1 as well. Wicked. Uh, Trophies to Champions. Uh, they were the winners and they beat Marseille 4-1 there. So they got the double, the league and the Trophies to Champions. So nice one for uh, PSG. Obviously, you're always expecting them to get pretty far in the Champions Cup, if not win it. And then the French Cup definitely win. But FC Metz using the super tactic, the York owner, <laughs> they, uh, they fell. They fell. David and the Goliath. Uh, so let's go back to schedule then some of the big results. So let's have a look. Big, oh, look at that. 8 0. 8 0. Nice one. 4 1. 5 0 against Paris FC. 8 4 against FC Mets, the head to head. Oh dear. In the league, they didn't do quite so well, did they? <laughs> 8 4. But still scoring four goals against uh, PSG is half decent. And then you've got Dijon here. 8 0. 6 0. Oh. Oh, Inter, 3-0. Great, great team, Inter, as well. So, yeah, big results. Big results, but you expect it. Team, average rating, and then a lot of players, once again, with your best player being Neymar. 19 goals, 22 assists. And it says here, clear-cut chances, or, or chances created. 100. 100 chances created. And I'm, I'm pretty sure now that every free kick, every corner is going to be down as a chance. And I think that might be the reason why that's so high. Um, so after them, then, biggest goal scorers are Cardi, Mbappe, Neymar, uh, Sarabia, Marquinhos. So 34, 27, 19, 17, and 13. Biggest creators in the team, Neymar, Demario, Florenzi, uh, Mbappe, and Bernat. 11, 11, 12, 14, and 22. Uh, team report on a whole absolute domination. All right, that, you can already see that. That's just domination. So I don't even need to go through it. You're expecting it. It's PSG. And if we go to uh, analyst report scoring, uh, you are aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, we are unfortunately quiet and leaky again. So we're, we've got to sort this defense out. It was probably it was actually one of the problems of the first versions of the York Alona. A little bit, a little bit of defensive problem. Hopefully, we we can all work together in the Discord to uh, rectify that and make it as best as it can be. So let's go to the full numbers, 155 goals and only 39 conceded. That is small. <laughs> and in the league, that was actually 29 conceded, which was the best on 114 scored. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of goals. It doesn't seem like there's uh, defensive issues when it comes to PSG, but it's PSG in the French league. So, yeah, it's not the same as being in the Premier League. Um, so I still think the uh, defensive shape needs, needs changing. Do, what would I change? Oh, so you've got the advanced playmaker here. He'll be making the runs into this section. Inside forwards are all coming up. Mozilla is obviously using the channel. So once again, he'll be here. You'll be left with the deep line playmaker by yourself. You've got the wing backs who hopefully occupy these areas here because the inside forwards are going to be going in, which means you only have three. Three at the back uh, if they ever counter. If they ever win the ball back and get forward quicker than you can get back so that may be the problem um mm, what would you do what would you do to bring the, no you can't bring him down it's the your cologne you gotta play a bit like barcelona ain't you gotta play a bit like barcelona uh inside forward maybe turn that to attack and then make this winger not an inside forward, so you've got a winger on the left, inside forward attack on the right, and then keep this winger here on the right, and then turn this winger on the left inverted. That way, at least he'll come into this section, hopefully. If there's any problems, then you've got an extra player in the center of the pitch that could help defend. That's my, uh, that's my vision, anyway. Could be right, could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, that's the team report. Let's go to FC Mets, the underdogs. They finished sixth, all right? Absolutely incredible. Competitions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they won the French Cup. They won the French Cup. They won 2-0 in the final. Nice. 
<laughs> nice one. Uh, let's have a look at the results then. So 4 0 against an FC Look. 7 0 against Bordeaux. 7 0. Nice one. 3 0s, 3 1s. 3 is three, a good number. 3 is a good number. Um, and then you've got 6 0. Nice one there. PSG. Oh, oh, French Cup 2 1. Uh, decent finish to the end of the season. Ren, Strasbourg. Dijon not losing to any of them. 2 0, 3 0, and 3 1. Um, let's go to the squad. Let's have a look. So that's quite. That's actually quite a lot of players for an underdog when it comes to average ratings. Your best player being, um, what do you say? Is that Mega? Habib Maga? Mega? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four goals and 10 assists. Biggest uh, goal scorers in the army and Baluya, uh, 27 and 11. Biggest creators in the team, Baluya and Mega as well, 10 and 10. Um, I know I'm probably, probably butchering those names there, but if you're still watching there, after all the videos I've done, then I think you, you you kind of got used to it. Yeah, you've got used to it. Team report then. So yeah, pretty decent again. You're on top on all of the averages. Not counting PSG because they will just rinse anyone. Um, but yeah, you're, you're still higher than the um, League One averages on uh, all of the uh, general performance. And if we go to analyst report, score and efficiency, attacking and aggressive and clinical sorry and then conceding we are still quiet and leaky uh, full numbers was 92 goals and 50 conceded that's not actually too bad if we look in the league it's 80 goals which was the second best team in the league uh, 49 conceded which was ninth there so finally we are in germany now obviously we'll go over forest and mk dons but just glance over uh, with germany in the bundesliga let's have a look at dortmund and frankfurt how have they done first place and fourth place nice one uh frankfurt with the, the mid table team all right the, the predicted eighth you know around here so fourth place is decent it's good uh, sometimes you could have got second it, it, it was tight um, it, at one point it was tight anyway in the test i, I kept seeing a drop below second and third second and third second and third obviously unfortunately all the other teams just caught up uh, near the end and it's, it's a shame it's a shame really um so yeah dortmund frankfurt all qualified for champions league football harland being the main man obviously at 20 29 goals to jovic is at 17 came third for frankfurt average rating harland came first assist torre came first with a 10 assist there harland came first with player of the matches unfortunately no clean sheets for the goalkeepers and then if we have a look at Dortmund's competitions there we go there were the German Super Cup runners up unfortunately went out to Bayern 5-0 big loss there um, European Champions Cup they didn't win the DFB Pokal Cup got knocked out by RB Leipzig there schedule decent again it's decent again into the start of the season look at all that man look at all those wins Dortmund Big results as well. 5 0, 6 0, 3 0. Bayern, 3 1. Head to head against Frankfurt. They won 2 0 the second time they played Frankfurt. It was Frankfurt that won. 3 0. Win, win. <laughs> 1 3 0. Um, and then, yeah, some decent results once again. Squad, once again. Not as many as the other bigger teams, but still fairly decent on the average range. We best player being Haaland. 39 goals, 12 assists. Biggest goal scorers after Haaland was Brandon Rios. And then assists belonged to Haaland and Sancho, 12 and 10. Team report, domination once again. All right, a little bit lower on the conceded per game, but still way above the averages. Uh, and then analyst report, scoring, attacking, or aggressive and clinical. And then conceding defensive efficiency, quiet and leaky once again. Uh, full numbers, 125 goals and 51 conceded with 99 goals scored, which is the best in the league. Uh, 35 goals conceded which was the fourth best and finally frankfurt who were the middish table team so not bad finish for them fourth place competitions knocked out in the quarterfinals by leipzig again they killed my teams <laughs> uh, schedule some decent results once again six nil uh, three nils one nils all right you got dortmunds here bio leverkusen two nil um yeah hoffenheim two one so decent results once again unfortunately obviously dropped off a little bit near the end of the season and then yeah look at that that's a shame they finished in a decent position but only two players got decent average ratings throughout the whole of the season uh willems and, and dicker all right oh and five four and one with goals and assists biggest goal scorers was jovic nunez that nunez uh 21 and 11 and biggest creators in the team was Kamada and Torre with 12 
10. Team report, you're still doing half decent. Pass completion is a little bit lower, but everywhere else is just above all the averages. And then an analyst report, scoring. Aggressive and clinical, you're still in the section. It's a big box, all right? A lot of teams can fit in there, and you're one of them. <laughs> and then conceding, uh, that's nice. See, quiet and impenetrable. So it can happen. It's there, all right? On the averages, we are quiet and impenetrable. And full numbers. Stats, um, 64 goals scored, so not a lot there, but we only conceded 38, so that's not bad for a mid-table team. Uh, in, in, in the actual league, it was 54 goals scored and 36 goals conceded, which was the fifth best. So that was the tactic. A quick look at Nottingham Forest. They managed to get promoted through the playoffs. A couple of players in the top threes there. And then again with MK Dons, they were the champions. MK Dons are predicted 19th. 19th ran right at the bottom here uh, and they came first and massively first as well 108 points that's yeah awesome for mk dons uh, and a couple of players in the top threes again so guys that was the your Kelowna 27-02 tactic it's the latest updated version of this tactic out at the minute I'm sure there's going to be some variations when we start sorting out some of the defensive issues and uh, hopefully it will turn into a world dominating tactic for all of you to download if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing big big thumbs up as well uh, and leave a comment if you fancy leaving a comment and I'll try and get back to you if I can and remember, this tactic is on the Discord. So join the Discord, you'll find the tactic there. And you can talk to Mike himself. He is the creator of the tactic. Uh, and you can go through with him and obviously us and everyone about how to make this maybe better. Maybe defensively better. I think that's the only problem. Maybe a little bit of attacking issue. But I think if we turn one of these inside forwards into attack um, and then one of these into a winger, I think it might work a little bit better. Uh, but that's just my opinion. It might not. <laughs> it might not don't take don't take don't take it to heart but uh that's just what i would probably do just to see if it could change it obviously change these to an inverted wing back to get one in the middle uh, don't have to be both of them just one of them uh, yeah so i'm tucker jobs this was tactic testing hopefully you have an amazing save everyone i'll see you when i see you bye